Hi, Rundle. This is your read aloud for How to Train a Train by Jason Carter Eaton. So, you want a pet train? Well, of course you do. Trains make awesome pets. They're fun, playful, and extremely useful. Lucky for you, the handy guidebook contains everything you need to know to choose, track, and train your very own pet train. Ready? Then let's head out and find some trains. Different trains live in different places. Freight trains live in the countryside and travel in herds. Monorail trains live in the city and travel alone. Early steam engines pretty much just sit in museums. Have you decided which sort of train you'd like? Great. Now you need to catch one. There are lots of ways to catch a train. Some people will corner it. Others might use a big net to trap it. Still others will run the track into quicksand. True, these methods all work, but I'm going to show you the best way. First, get up really early in the morning and find a good hiding spot close to some trains. Now the hard part, sit quietly and wait, and wait, and wait some more. As the sun rises, the trains will begin to stir and start their engines. Watch them work and play. It's only natural that you'll want to take home all the trains, but don't just grab the first one you see. Take your time and choose one that's right for you. Got one? Time to make your move. Send a puff of smoke high into the air. Perfect. You've got the train's attention. If you brought any coal with you, now would be the time to offer it. Try saying, my, what a handsome train you are. Next, make the call of the wild train. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Choo-choo, well done, here it comes. How will you know if the train you caught is the one? Don't worry, you'll know. Once you get your train home, you'll want to give it a name. Some popular train names are Milo, Morgan, Nathan, Pushkin, Smokey, Picklepuss, Captain Foofamaloo, Little Miss Muffinhead, Sir Chugs a lot. Of course, you can name your train whatever you like. Sparkles. Don't worry if it seems shy or scared at first. A train needs time to adjust to new surroundings. A warm bath can help calm a nervous train. And few trains can resist a good read aloud. If, you if your train has trouble falling asleep at night, play soft, low commotion sounds. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack, rocka, rocka, clickety clack. This is an old conductor's trick that'll give your train good dreams. Spend as much time as you can getting to know your train. Does it prefer going fast or slow? Does it like to fetch? How does it feel about tunnels and bridges? Want to teach your train a few tricks? Easy as pie. Start with a simple trick, then move on to something a bit harder. By now your train should be willing to let you go for a ride, but start out slow. Try riding in the caboose at first. Trains are very particular about who sits in the engineer's car. Good manners are important. Train your train not to leap up on people and to always wipe its wheels before going indoors. Of course, your train can't go everywhere with you. Out on the open road, you're sure to pass other kids with their pet trains, planes, trucks, or submarines. This is a great chance for both of you to make new friends. Congratulations. You've given your train fuel, water, a good home, and plenty of friendship and fun. Everything it needs to be happy. How will you know if your train is happy? Don't worry, you'll know. The end.